Aught fell from the beast as it breathed its last. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Would that such tranquility could last? I suppose it is so. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. We've got goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Hold fast, Jordan! I will be with you in but a moment! Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. 
This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consign it! Get back here! see an urchin in a cap run past just now. Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. 
Farewell. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Hmm? Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in Melv. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Oi, sir. We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. Why don't you come see? That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Come back any time. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. There are three locales 
that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. By combining our strengths. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels for now, though I have yet would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermon to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee, be cautious. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Hell is, Vermin was once a Beastron kingdom. Truly? Why? Though no definitive records remain. Uh. 
ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking at Oi there, friend! Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the car. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Mm. Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, but I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Each car travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart, then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We need only deliver it to the intended recipient. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. A ladder, is it? How convenient. Oh, excellent find. If you're in need of a ride, it is now or now. You need not shrink from danger. You need the strength to prevail over anything.
We have reached our destination. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. It is a chest. I shall take a look inside. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. How have you been? What's going on? I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Come to think of it, different masters favor different forms. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. Each to their own. Would you care to behold a forgotten rift stone as yet undiscovered in this world? Then follow me, it isn't far. Follow me then, unless you doubt my sense of direction.
come over here. Do you wish for me to proceed? We won't be able to climb back up the slope once we've gone down. So, we finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I have a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft all I can using what's in my pack. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Once, Master. Not a foe in sight. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. I go where fortune whispers, friend.
can't say I have any tidings to share. Our traits mesh well together. Each of us is suited to a different task. No challenge is beyond our combined might. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. Wolves, faster! It's fierce fire skill. I want fire blade. Use it well. Letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The only Britain gets the world is the Our foe, well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Did that attack? 
We would be invincible. met my end. My thanks to you, Arisen.
Guard all you want. Try and make a dick out of an archer, would you? Say so Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in big- My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. 